Elizabeth Frank was a British print maker and sculptor born on November 14, 1930 in Thurslow, England. Her works range or her work subject matter ranged from men, birds, dogs, cats, horses, and religious figures. She grew up during World War II, seeing the war up close as she did, it played in a role in her work. At the age of 22, Frank had her first solo show in a gallery in London. In 19, or in 1969, she was made a commander of the British Empire. And then in 1982, she was made dame. Um, and in 1993, Two, Elizabeth, or Queen Elizabeth II made Frank a companion of honor. Um, in this next slide, this work is titled Paternoster. It is an outdoor door bronze sculpture done in 1975. This piece is also known as Shepherd with Sh and Sheep or uh, Shepherd with His Flock. Installed in the first or near St. Peter's Cathedral in London. This piece is 10 feet long and stands about uh, 7 feet tall. This piece represents or reflects the former use of the square where the work was located or where the lo work is located, selling livestock and meat, with the also hints of biblical o overtone. The work was commissioned by the Cafalgar House from the north side. This next slide is about the Doris Martyrs Memorial. Doris Martyrs Memorial. In the 1980s, Frank was commissioned by the sculpt, or was commissioned to sculpt a memorial, and the reason for this whole sculpture was to remember those who were executed for their religious beliefs at the Gallows, Gallows Hills in Dircher. Dirch, Dorchester. It was designed in 1983 and then finally installed in the spot at 1986. The insta installation was comprised of three large bronze casting figures and placed in a um, triangular formation um, with a circular plaque with the words, For Christ, Conscious Sake. This next slide, the sculpture is called Horse and Rider. Frank wanted to capture the ageless symbol of man and horse, and she would touch this. She would touch on this subject quite a bit during her career, making drawings and other sculptures. This piece was commissioned for a site in Mayfair, Mayfair, um, with another casting in Winchester. The sculpture depicts a man riding in the nude without a saddle. The work was commissioned by the same people who commissioned the memorial. In June in nineteen or in two thousand eighteen, the sculpture was moved to a, to the town square on Bond Street to mark the new entrance for the Royal Academy of Arts. <clears throat> this final slide, the sculpture is called Bird. As Frank began to publicly show her work, she started sculpting birds, which carried into two decades, which into bleh, which carried into a two-decade-long thing, focusing in on the beak, claws, and wings of these crow and haven or haven raven-like sculptures. She thought they were vehicles for strong feelings of panic, tension, and aggression. She goes on and shares that these bird sculptures were not a state of being. Um, this particular sculpture stands eight feet or eight inches tall and nine feet inches long, um, with three castings made of this one. One privately purchased, the other one with Tate, and the third one with the Arts Council. A lot of these, a lot of her bird sculptures seem to look like long be or long legged creatures with skinny legs and a bronze big bronze body.